I do, folks? Bond here. I just wanted to uh, quickly show you this little, little uh, Dobsonian telescope that I made, a model, uh, a few days ago. Uh, this took a sort of course, over the course of three days I made this. I recently got into uh, astronomy a bit and I bought my own telescope. And I thought it'd be quite nice to make a uh, model of something similar. And I thought it'd look quite cool. And as it turned out, I'm pretty chuffed how it has turned out. It's... Uh, it's quite a cool, unique little model. So it's basically based on a Dobsonian telescope, which is this one here is a particular sky watcher. It's called a lightweight because you can see the trusses between. I don't really think it takes too much weight from a normal telescope with the sort of tube going all the way down, personally, but uh, there you go. It's supposed to be lightweight. And I wanted to do it that sort of design instead of a straight through tube because it's just visually more interesting I think. So the idea is this is a uh, reflector telescope so the Dobsonian refer, refers to the um, mount rather than the telescope itself so this mount is very easy so basically you've got your up and down and your left and right so you drag it out into your nice dark sky and you literally just turn it around by hand until you find something and uh, <coughs> look down the viewfinder there's no electronics or anything like that it's just so simple so this was bar stock I uh, cut the ends off uh, the required size obviously bored those out and from there I just fabricated the different parts that I needed for the telescope so the little viewfinder there that's all sort of fabricated it's got a dual speed focuser, so the big wheel does the fast speed and the small one does the sort of fine feed. The truss rods are actually carbon fibre. I had these left over from a uh, project years ago and I knew they'd always come in handy. And uh, there you go. So there the finder scope, that's fabricated over um, well, what, one, two, three, four, five, six parts. Where is it? There we go. So there's a little finder scope. The wheel, these would usually be sort of probably a, a half moon. So on the back of the scope, I've got um, I've got some collimation screws. So the with the mirror in the back there, it has to be obviously aligned with this secondary mirror up here. Let me just get that into focus has to be aligned with this secondary mirror and then at 45 degrees it comes out to your eyepiece well if that's not lined up that mirror obviously your light's going to go bouncing off uh, god knows where so they put these screws on basically the mirrors on a large plate in there and the, the screws you adjust and the the mirror tilts and rocks until you get it lined up the special tools collimation tools that you pop in your eyepiece there's there's my for my proper telescope so you look down there and when everything's lined up, you should get uh, some some circle accurate circles within each, within each other. Um, another important thing with telescopes is to cool them down, or at least keep the dew away from them. So, they, a lot of them have fans on the back. So you run the fan, and it gets rid of all the sort of moisture and uh, cools the fan down as well to sort of ambient temperature. So that's just a little simulation of the fan. So of course every name every maker has to pop his name on so there's my there's my name there engraved on there and that's it folks oh a little polished mirror in the inside i could have highly polished it but i just i couldn't be bothered so there you go hope you like that folks quite a nice little model isn't it just to uh, have on your desk Cheers guys, see ya!